Welcome to ARC, your go-to destination for mastering industrial automation. Today, we're diving into the heart of SCADA systems with our exclusive series, WinCC 7.5 Mastery, step-by-step -step video tutorials. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, creating menus and picture window navigation in WinCC. We're going to walk through the process of crafting menu buttons and then explore the art of utilizing picture windows to enhance the user experience. Create a button and align all to the bottom side, making it an attractive bottom menu bar for navigating various screens. I am duplicating this button, which we learned about in the last topic. For detailed instructions on how to create a button, you can refer to the previous video. This is the first button, and we will copy more buttons in the same manner. For aligning all objects properly, you can utilize the top tools such as Align Left, Align Right, Align Top, and Align Center. To select all objects, press the Shift button and select each object one by one. Set the alignment properties accordingly, and you can also add spacing between them as needed. Set text to button for proper identification. Go to the smart object and select the picture window, then drag it onto the screen. Arrange the geometry of the picture window, adjusting its height, width, and position. You can update the object name of the picture window as per your convenience. We have kept the same name as picture window. Now that the picture window is in the correct position, let's open various screens within the same picture window. Select the navigation button for vessel 1. Go to the event of the button and select press. Right click and assign a C script. Write a script to assign a name to the picture window. Here, we are assigning vessel 1.pdl so that it will display the vessel 1 screen in the picture window. Select the appropriate tag, such as picture window's name. In the case where the tag is picture window 1, choose the corresponding picture name. Afterward, select the PDL name, which will then open in the picture window. Check for vessel 1 screen. Save the PDL and initiate the runtime. The script is now running for Vessel 1. Similarly, replicate the process for other buttons such as Vessel 2 and the Home button. Select the appropriate tag, such as Picture Window's name. In the case where the tag is Picture Window 1, Choose the corresponding picture name. Afterward, select the PDL name, which will then open in the picture window.
Now, save the PDL and verify Vessel 1 and Vessel 2. It's working fine. Similarly, we can open any screen in the picture window. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll delve deeper into exploring more about WinCC.